very simple to use. Guys ask us, uh, what do you recommend? Um, and that's a very tough question. Um, if you're having great results with the finger pickup and it's very dependable, uh, it's hard for me to tell you to switch. Uh, but the thing about the vacuum meter is it takes different size seeds better. Uh, the, the finger pickup is great for corn when it's uh, flat and medium seed size seed. This will take just about anything. Um, wear and tear on the crowder brush, simulator brush, and wall brush is all about 400 acres per per uh, per row. Storage. Uh, I think we all have done this before. Or, uh, we get in a hurry and, and we're done planting, and uh, we do back planter into the barn, and we don't get out till till it's time to plant next year. That's not the way it should be done. We have plenty of techs out here who would love to come out and inspect your planter and, and make sure uh, everything's going well and, and take those apart. Um, the reason we tell you to take those apart is because if you have that cell pushed up against your meter or your brushes, it's going to kick the brushes and or your space them out. And what that call it, it doesn't, doesn't uh, keep the brushes fresh. You know, how your toothbrush is wore out, that's the same thing as this. Um, make sure you remove, remove the, the meter from the hopper. Make sure you wash out, clean all the debris, uh, the chemical residue left in there from the seed. Uh, make sure you store them all in a clean and dry area. Um, pretty, pretty basic house cleaning, nothing major. Uh, just takes time. Valuable as you know. Uh, don't forget the infield check. Uh, I was in Ohio and this lady came along with her husband, and uh, nobody likes getting out of a tractor and checking in the field. You know, you check a couple times, everything's good, let's get out, let's, let's finish up. Well, she said, every morning before he goes out to plant, I, I make him the biggest cup of coffee possible. And I sent him out there. I said, Oh, really? Huh? That's kind of weird. I wonder why the heck she said that. She said, because I know after he gets done drinking that, he will be off the tractor about every hour, p.m., and he'll he get out and check his, his, his field. So, so if you don't drink coffee, you can fill it up with something, get a big uh, mug. I know in New York you're only allowed, what, 16 ounces of pops or something like that, so you might have to bring a couple around. This is the result. Uh, this is a perfect 30 inch rows, perfect spacing. All the seed and the plants are coming up at the same time. Just beautiful looking. <clears throat> like I said earlier, what do we expect from our planters? Uniform seed depth, uniform spacing, and proper seed to soil contact. Here's what's new with Kinsey. Obviously, everybody knows about the new 4900, and like I said, I'll show you some videos of it. But here's what else is new. We're offering a 3110 uh, mounted machine, a 3140 stack fold mounted, a 3616 uh, row, twin row 30 inch, and a 3724 row 20 inch, and a 24 row 22 inch. I have a new C tube up here, which is uh, top of the line. Nobody can touch our C tube. It's, it's uh, installed in all 213 models. And we can install them back to your planter back in 2006. Um, it's compatible with just about everything. Your ag meter, your precision uh, 2020 meter, uh, your Dickie John. This C tube is phenomenal. It counts up to 120 seeds per second. There's no algorithms, and it does an average seed. A lot of our competitors, they take average and seed. Uh, so many seeds go through and they average it out. Ours counts up to 120. It has adjustable sensor. So if you're planting on the east and the sun's out on the west and you're coming towards it, a lot of times the sensor would go off or it wouldn't be accurate because the sun's hitting the, the seed tube. Or you start getting dust in it or dirt filled up in it. This adjusts, self adjusts, so you won't have any more problems with it. The size and the, and the shape is also different too. The 
top of the seat tube is a little wider, and the seat tube is a little shorter than the ones in the past. Does anybody know why a seat tube's shaped like this? That's right. The object of dropping seeds in this tube is to hit the, seat, the tube right in the center. And as you're traveling along, the seed should be dropping down as you're going along so it doesn't touch the seed tube. If it hits the seed tube, it's going to ricochet and bounce around. Clutches. This is a sure stop by Ag Leader. It's totally maintenance free, real need to mount it, and it's retrofitable. The big thing now is ISO bus. Are you ISO bus compatible? Uh, I hear that a million. You know, when are we going to be ISO bus? Um, John Deere, we, have, we are ISO bus compatible with the Green Star 3 uh, case and Trimble. We're, they're saying they're working with us, and we're saying they're saying about I think around February 15th to 19th, they should be ISO bus compatible. What is ISO bus? Uh, guys will ask us, well, what should we recommend? Should we recommend a, a ISO bus compatible machine? Should we sell a, a machine with ISO? Or should we uh, you know, just wait until they buy a new tractor? Uh, I recommend you buy a planter with ISO bus because you can use the PMM, which is the brains of the planet, or the, of the monitor, and you can still count uh, your population bar graph as your seed spacing, and you can monitor your seed skips. What ISOBUS does, it has a, a PCM monitor, which you can regulate. You can regulate the seed rate, uh, it has auto swap, and, and you do manual rate control. That's, that's basically your task control. So when you in three years you buy your new tractor, you'll be ready to go. Let's not forget um, cost saving with electric clutches. Farm Farm Journal did a study in 2007 uh, on a 1,300 acre corn farm with a 40 inch or 40 foot planter with auto swap, uh, 6,300 in savings over a planter without clutches, and 2,400 dollars in savings over a planter with manual clutch. Uh, control. So huge savings. They figure about 3 to 12 percent just on uh, seed savings. With the seeds uh, cost going up, I mean, you talk about you know 3 to 12 percent that, that could make or break it. Uh, air clutch maintenance. Okay, real simple. Just disassemble, clean, lubricate uh, annually. Beam row split, uh, split row. We now have that available on the 3500s, the 3600, and the 3660. Basically, this just shows you a graph of the even row, uh, split row. You're inside your 30 inch corn rows, uh, so you're not fighting hitting uh, roots and the, the, the root systems on your corn stubble. Fault fill. There's a mix of, of, right now there's a big run on box fill planters right now. I don't know why, it, it, it seems like that's, whatever you have, they, they want something different, but uh, we carry uh, bulk fill units, and the majority of people get that is for two things, less time filling and, and more time planting. Um, you know, when you're, when you're young, you're 20 years old, you don't mind carrying bags to each individual hopper. Uh, when you get older, now it starts to wear on you, so, a lot of guys will be bulk filled. This is available with the 3600, uh, eight, eight, uh, 800, or 80 bushels, 40 on each side of the tank, and then the 3660, 3700, and 3800 at 55 uh, bushel hoppers on each side, making it 110. What's the problem when you have two big old uh, bulk filled uh, hoppers on there? What is everybody afraid of right in the middle of there? Confaction. That's right. We're the, only, we're the only company who came up with the hydraulic weight transfer. Uh, what this does is it takes all the heavy weight from the center of your planter and disperses it all the way across the whole entire planter. These are available on the 3600 and the 3660. Conventional or bulk fill. This kind of shows you a, a cylinder 
on, on one side, there's actually one on each side, like that. And what that does is, if you were standing there and you had uh, a table on this side and a table on this side, and you push down on both sides, what it does is lift, lifts your core up, okay? That's exactly what this does. It lifts the core of your machine, your, uh, your machine up where the ball go, the mass weight is, and distributes all the way across. It's hydraulically driven, and it's hydraulic flow. So the more pressure you have, the less it lets up or pushes down. It's not controlled by any cab or anything like that. It's all flow regulated. Uh, the flex in this is uh, 21 degrees. Um, like I said, we're the first people to ever come out with this. Planner options. This just gives you a breakdown, I know it's hard to read, but to show you the different options you get on each planner. Um, a lot of guys are asking, well, what's wrong, or can we get that option, or can we add a, another fertilizer tank? Um, sure, you can. Uh, every, people do it all the time. Um, do we recommend it? Not really, but is it done? Every day. All right, this, what I'll do is I will try to show this video of our new planner and then after that if we have any questions we'll go over some questions that you have.